Today on Rappler. Update on the death of 44 policemen. The chief of the Special Action Forces is relieved of his post. So, di ako kung gumagawa ng script po dito sa telenovela po na ito eh. Uh, Makati Mayor Junjun Binay slams the Senate's probe, calling it a telenovela. An historic blizzard paralyzes northeastern United States. Hello, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. This is Rappler's Wrap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. Interior Secretary Mar Rojas says the Special Action Forces Chief Getulio Napenas Jr. has been relieved of his post after 44 of his men died in a bloody carnage in Maguindanao, southern Mindanao, last Sunday. Napenas reports to the PNP headquarters in Camp Crame while an investigation is ongoing. The policemen who entered the area, controlled by the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or MILF, were hunting down Malaysian bomb maker Marwan, one of world's most wanted terrorists. Top officials say the SAF acted alone and without approval. The encounter threatens a year-old peace agreement between the Philippine government and the MILF. Rojas reiterates, despite the tragedy, the police force is committed to peace in the region. Tuloy ang uh, tiwala at uh, kumpiyansa ng PNP sa police process na bagaman napakalungkot, napakatindi ng uh, kapaitan ito, pangyayari ito, ang mas malawak na peace process ay uh, mahalaga. Senators Alan Cayetano and J.V. Ejercito also condemn the clash. They withdraw their authorship of the proposed Bangsamara Basic Law, or BBL, which is supposed to pave the way for the creation of an autonomous Muslim region. Their withdrawal means the proposal no longer has the majority vote, but MILF leader Ghazali Jafar urges lawmakers not to delay deliberations on the BBL, saying it would only be counterproductive to restoring peace and development in Mindanao. Makati Mayor Junjun Binay slams his accusers in the Senate as the Blue Ribbon Committee threatens to throw him in jail for snubbing its hearings. Calling the long-running hearings a telenovela, the Vice President's son said the committee is following a script on the allegedly overpriced Makati City Hall Building 2. The younger Binay says he hasn't been given due process and would rather answer the allegations in court. On Monday, the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee cited Binay and five others in contempt for skipping Senate hearings into corruption allegations. The Senate later deferred the detention order after Senator Tito Soto quest questioned the procedure. Japanese officials say they are working with their Jordanian counterparts to free a Japanese journalist and a Jordanian pilot held by extremist group ISIS, or Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. The terrorists beheaded Japanese contractor Haruna Yukawa last week after a deadline for a $200 million ransom passed. In a video released last Saturday, ISIS said it demands the release of a female Jordanian bomber from death row in exchange for the life of Kenji Goto, the remaining Japanese captive. Japan is likely to face resistance from the U.S. over any kind of swap. Heavy snowfall pounds northeastern United States, affecting tens of millions of people. 7,100 flights were canceled, subway services suspended, while tunnels and bridges connecting Manhattan to New Jersey were closed down. New York made non-emergency road travel a criminal offense in 13 counties. Meteorologists warned the storm, which comes with powerful winds, would bring crippling conditions and is expected to dump three feet up to a meter of snow. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio tells people you can't underestimate the storm. It's not a typical storm. It's going to pack a real punch. Scientists say one of the world's biggest glaciers is melting due to warm ocean water. The Toten Glacier was thought to be very stable and unlikely to change, but Australian scientists discover the ice sheet is melting from below with waters 1.5 degrees Celsius warmer than other areas. The 120-kilometer or 74-mile-long glacier holds enough water to increase sea levels by 6 meters or 20 feet. 
For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Looking at the mood navigator, the story with the biggest circle is Vice President Binai, the people have accepted my explanation. We have 91% of readers feeling angry about the story. Today, most people are angry. That's the wrap for today, Tuesday, January 27. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Rappler Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.